Hey everybody, welcome to Couch Potato Camping. Today we are going to be sharing two great RV campgrounds to enjoy along Route 66. These are two that we stayed at, that we were traveling along I-40, and these were just great destinations. And this sunset, by the way, is completely unfiltered. This is what we found at Territory 66 in Bridgeport, Oklahoma. The great thing about this campground, it is actually located right next to the original Route 66. That is what you are seeing right here. Um, these are actually campsites that butt up right to Route 66, which is kind of the yellowish road that is on the left-hand side. Now, we were put in a campsite right behind the sign <laughs> of Territory 66 Campground. This was a brand new campsite that was created this year um, I think we were only like the second people to use it. We found this happened a few times in 2021 as we were finding campgrounds. Because we are so small, they were just making campsites in order to fit everybody in. So you can see our water hose is kind of like across the lawn. It actually ended up being pretty good because that sign was a great windbreak for us because it is extremely windy here, or at least it was when we were there. We had originally reserved a pull-through spot, um, and then obviously we didn't get a back in, but we wasn't the pull-through that we were expecting. So just keep that in mind. If you definitely want a specific type of spot, make that known. Now this back row is more like long-term people that are working in industry in Oklahoma. So that's probably not where you're going to be put, but this is the laundry area and like office area. These sites are also going to be used for people that are coming in just for a night or so. So these are some of the sites that you might be seeing as well, um, just to give you an idea of where to stay. So we found amazing sunsets while we were here. Like I said, the wind was quite strong. That's why they have windmills in Oklahoma to create energy. Along the way, that road that you're seeing is I-40. That is what replaced Route 66. Again, this is one of the sunsets that we enjoyed. It was amazing. There is absolutely no color filter on this. We just stood outside along with everybody else in the campground and really enjoyed the view. Just kind of walked along the original Route 66. It was a really nice stop um, close to Elk City, Oklahoma, which is um, one of the big destinations on Route 66 and where we headed right after this to go to the Walmart. The Walmart in Elk City is actually really good and highly recommend that along your travels. And the second RV park was USA RV Park in Gallup, New Mexico. This was actually a surprising hit and find. We got a last minute reservation here when a harvest host nearby just didn't work out, wasn't quite what we wanted. So we got a great spot here. They were super accommodating. There is a Route 66 theme, obviously. If you're in Gallup, you're gonna have that theme. Very patriotic here. Um, they have like a barbecue area that goes from mid-May to about October or so. The wood carvings that they have throughout the campground are amazing. And this dedication to the armed forces is just absolutely stunning. On their website, it says that active duty military can stay free at the campground. And that is just awesome as well. So it has a very patriotic theme all throughout um, the campground area. Again, this is the barbecue. wasn't open while we were there, but this is something that is offered um, through the summer months. This waterfall was just amazing. We had a tiny little spot in the back, um, a full pool, playground. There is a putting green area. There's like huge chess set that you can play. The amenities here are really, really great. Plus, you're very, very close to downtown Gallup. Um, and again, the dog park with the wood carvings of the dogs. Everything just seems to have such a homey touch here. We have site number 11. And hooking up is a pull through. Got water and electric. There is a dump station. And on the other side of site 11, we have a picnic table. Um, yeah, pretty level. 
And this is the bathhouse. We found it to be really clean. I like showing the bathrooms that are at campgrounds because even if you have an RV with a bathroom in it, a lot of people don't like to use their bathrooms or their showers. So this is what you can expect if you are one of those people needing the bathhouse. They also have the laundry area and this was super cheap laundry. They have cabins and I think roughly around the price is about 40 bucks for the cabin, which was awesome propane fill and of course every camper's favorite amenity the dump station so if you like this tour go ahead and give us a thumbs up let us know if you've ever stayed at this campground